Hey, what up, what up? What is up, everybody? And welcome back to the Carpet Returns YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. And welcome back to Let's Try Phoenix Point, the brand spanking new XCOM-like game from the original creator of XCOM. I I've kind of given my thoughts the last couple episodes on how I feel about the game. It's a little bit unpolished, a lot of fun, love the new features, love the new concepts. Honestly, like, there are really some parts I like about this game better than XCOM. Like, significantly, like, better inventory management, not it's you're not subject to these stupid like r just like defined roles like at first i was like man what's my hit probability i love these little, little circles that kind of like tell you that the aiming at the different items like honestly guys very cool concepts like seriously th this game introduces some really cool concepts i am really hoping my hope for this game i have so much there's so much potential with this game like this game has the potential to be better than xcom two big things base building and kind of the way that the campaign is guided i don't even know how to put it into words or to, to explain it yet but just like there's not much direction to the campaign right and they don't really explain kind of the point like like xcom made it very clear like what your threats were and stuff like that like if you don't do this this will happen and that's just kind of part of the polish of the game but anyway guys we are in the middle of a resource mission we, we ended the last uh we ended the last uh, episode by just moving my guy here we spotted an enemy and we were about to shoot at him for the Ready first time so we want to aggro as many of these guys as we can uh aggroing these guys is really important because it prevents them from going after the resources and, and makes them go after me which is you know a lot better than them going after the resources and destroying them because the more resources we save you guys the better off we will be so i'm just going to move my sniper right here and i'm just going to go ahead and fire at this guy with my sniper rifle should this is a pretty tight shot actually i we, there's a good chance we miss we did not we hit excellent so that was great we just killed that guy um that was the first guy we saw i say we still kind of move in that general direction uh i'm not against moving over here maybe we just move this guy up maybe we see somebody did not see anybody um let's move you up here nope no enemy spotted so huh you know what no i'm not gonna do anything crazy Let's just overwatch over there. Uh, you, do you have an action point? You do not. You do, though. And I'm almost wondering if you should overwatch over... Ah, uh, maybe over here as well? Nah, just keep an eye on over here. That's okay. Man, the lighting on that overwatch is pretty freaking sweet. That's the thing is, the graphics aren't bad. When I say polish, I don't mean, like, graphically. I mean just, like explaining things, going into more detail, giving more direction in the campaign, making the base building mechanics better, making it more clear how to reload your weapons in between, uh, you know, combat, which took me a while. Like, hey, your weapons don't reload automatically. You have limited ammo. You have to keep, keep buying and expending more ammo, which makes sense as a mechanic, but they really don't do explain things very well. The tutorial pl explains combat. Yeah, just not much else. <laughs> just not much else. Um, I could move pretty aggressively, but I do get a little bit scared to do that. All right, there's nobody over there. You, check out this canister. Excellent. Should open up the inventory automatically. What's this? You know what? It's probably pretty cool. You're going to be pretty bogged down now. That's the only thing. But not the end of the world. Right there. He doesn't move very well anyway. To be completely honest. Um, maybe just come here? I don't know. Try not to expose him too much. But we do want to exterminate these guys. You know, as quickly as humanly possible. Because they will go after the resource canisters. Oh, you're fine now. Let's... Okay, you, you also can move pretty well. Okay. Just want to make sure we can, like, shoot. Let's go. And. I'm 
going. Not finding anybody yet, you guys. There we go. Get that pistol out. On it. Not a great shot from here, but do a little damage. Excellent. Disabled his arm. He's bleeding. Why not one more? One more. Missed. That's okay. Uh, he's bleeding, and that's a positive development. You can move and possibly sniper fire, so let's move for sure. Might be able to kill him with our pistol if we can't get a good shot on the, with the sniper, but looks like we can. Okay, this guy's dead. Excellent. Man, I really like the snipers, you guys. Like, I'm a fan. Go ahead and stand by these guys. We should, we should be fine. Yeah, you just stand by. Everybody stand by. If they start shooting or, or hurting the canisters, yeah, yeah, Okay, there they are. Yeah, that canister's probably done. Oh, no. No. One of these guys? Please don't be able to hit my guy. No! No! What is he doing? What is he doing? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We kill the thing, but we kill his head. Oh, that's like literally... How do I kill that thing? How do I rip it off of his face? I don't want you to hurt our friend. Can anybody like go over there and rip it off his face? Okay. I'm going to move this guy here. I'm going to use my pistol, you guys. And I'm going to shoot that thing. Okay. This should just kill this thing. Oh, it didn't do any damage to my guy. Okay. That was a little bit freaky. I thought it was going to do damage to our guy. It did not. That's really good news. Uh, in the meantime, can we get over here and shoot this son of a bitch who's killing our, our resource pod over there no we cannot okay that's okay let's move it in though for the real thing because we do want to kill that guy eventually uh same thing with you you have no Gotta shot so bring it in bring the snipers up Hostile. yep that sucks because i don't think we have a guy in position to shoot that other hostile yeah actually we do all right get over there let's see if we can kill this thing these things do not have a ton of ton of life, but then again, we have to hit these shots to, to kill him. Yeah, not enough shots there, you guys. It's bleeding, but I don't think we did enough damage. Yeah, I just don't think so. Well, we'll bring it over here. They're gonna kill that crate for sure. This guy might be able to get once again the like as long as we cover each other, it's okay if that guy latches on to somebody, right? As long as we cover each other, we're okay. Because it looks like a, a good well placed pistol shot pretty much eliminates all risk of that thing. Right, I mean obviously that sucks. And they just destroyed our canister. And this guy's gonna move. I don't think he can shoot though. You think he'll be able to shoot? No. Which is good. Oh, but there's two of them. That's not good. That's also not good. That's pretty good. Okay, so we've got a couple different things to do here. Let's move here, shoot this thing off this guy's face, um, and then possibly shoot somebody else. Let's bring out the pistol. I almost think we should come like here. We'll be able to shoot the thing off the guy's face and do a little bit of damage. All right. So first things first. Yes, precisely. Get that thing off his head. Thank you. Second thing second. Shoot this guy. Excellent. Disabled his... So he's going to die. We do not need to do any more damage to that guy whatsoever. Aim. Nope. Don't need to do any more damage to him, man. You should just move into a position where you can kill this guy. Oops. Sorry, guys. You, uh, where's my heavy guy? My heavy guy can come over here too and do some do some serious damage. In fact, why don't you do that? Excellent. Dead. Instant kill, you guys. That's huge. 
Uh, okay, yes, then you come over here, and we'll just do the same thing. We'll I'm just shoot him in the face. Only one of our resource pot uh, crates were destroyed, and it's not the end of the world, to be completely honest. Ah! Oh, you're shooting on guy? Oh, come on! That's not ideal, but... Actually, you know what? That's only armor, though. It doesn't look like any, anything, any, anything significant took any hits, so... It's not the end of the world. Still more guys out there to kill, though, you guys. So we just should just keep our eyes out. Guessing we're going to identify more enemies over here soon. So let's keep our eyes pe peeled and put him on standby. Whoa. There's a force. There's a guy right there. Um, well, at least we heard him. Let's come over here. Are you? No, you're not a sniper. You're a, you're a sniper though. So you one go into Overwatch down here because it doesn't look like there's any resource crates over here. This guy just might make a play for us. So I want you to cover our advance here because we are going to advance. Up, oh, enemy spotted. What in the hell? is that oh my god dude maybe a grenade would be better there we go did a little armor damage oh my I'm like SMPs a little bit. We gotta move everybody up. Moving fast. Yeah, get your ass moving. We need we need your launcher abilities fast. Holy buckets, you guys. I don't even know what that thing is. I don't wanna spread out my troops just in case it has any area damage attacks. Well yeah, I know you can hit it there, but like why? That seems like a terrible idea. Move you up. Probably be able to get a sniper shot next turn. Yep, nothing there. Oh my. I'm like, a little bit scared, you guys. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. Okay. I think I got it in my turn. Man, I'm a little bit, I'm like, legit scared. Very scared. I don't know what this thing is. What's it doing? No! I don't know what it just did. Created some kind of fog effect. Just make that thing in impossible to hit? Can you not hit it from here? You have a hard time hitting it from here. No, that's pretty good, actually. I don't hate this at all. Did a lot of damage. Again. 100 damage. I love it. You have a grenade? No. Anybody have a grenade? Can you get into a... Can your launcher hit from here? No. Okay. So I'll need you to move. Uh, I was thinking maybe... maybe move into a position where you can shoot next turn, right? Look here. Whew. I don't know, you guys. I'm, a little, I'm like freaking out right now. Ready to fire. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good shot. There's 90 damage. Any any damage we can inflict on this thing now, it's dead. I don't think I can get to a position though, you guys. I don't think I can get to a position where I can kill him. No. God damn it. Can 
you? And you don't have a grenade. Neither do you. Neither do you, neither do you. Okay. Not ideal. Less than ideal, to say the least. I don't know what this thing is going to do, you guys. I'm really scared. It, like, ghosted. But it hasn't shot anybody yet. It's our turn again? Okay. I'm not nearly as scared of this thing anymore. Okay. Kill confirmed. Is that it? Okay. I legit thought the thing was gonna like start artillery bombarding our our troops. I was freaked out by that thing. That just seems like the savage thing that this game would do to you. It's just like all of a sudden you just get bombarded by a billion like artillery shells. Whoa, cool. What's this? A disciples of Anu shotgun, you guys. We just recovered a shotgun. That's awesome. Is this, uh, this is a quiver for a crossbow. Okay, that's badass. This is an Iconoclast, and this is an Iconoclast magazine. Okay, that's really good. Now, we might want to actually reverse engineer this so we can, well, you know what? We actually have other shotguns available to us. Um, so it probably actually doesn't even make sense, um, to reverse engineer that. Just because we can do it. So... All right, well, that makes sense to me. All right, so I think it's time to go check out, you guys, this. Now, we could check out this one more unexplored site before making it. We do have a base here now. So I was thinking it does actually make sense to do this. Let's just check this out. I mean, it's going to bug me if it's just here, you know what I mean? Hey, brothers in arms. Bastion Arazu. Independent haven founded by refugees during world war three it grew its present size when surviving nation states finally collapsed during the second mist it welcomes people with mutations but is not allied with the disciples of andrews and its people are generally suspicious of religious leaders the haven's mayor is one of the first citizens fabio mena a costa rican engineer specialized in communications okay please call me fabio most people do be called mayor is strange i'm just a man who's place running ah Fabio has something he would require our assistance with. My brother Felipe, well, it's a long story, but he disappeared during the first mist, and I've been looking for him. I know what you're thinking, he's dead, but our family, well, again, it's a really long story. Let's just say there are reasons he may have survived, and recently I found he may be living in one of the haven controlled by the disciples of Anu. I've tried to send word, but they won't my uh, but they won't my messages to reach him. Okay, that's a obvious typo, no worries. Uh Let's contact the disciples. We have a pretty good reputation with them. Let's see what they say. As it turns out, the problem can be solved diplomatically. Felipe, whose mutations are quite extensive, has willingly joined the mon mon monastic order of the silent contemplation. The Fabio's messages were not related to avoid disturbing his meditation. In this case, however, an exception will be made to the blessing of the exalted, and the two brothers will be temporarily reunited. Fabio and Felipe have chosen paths that are not compatible with each other, but they are brothers, and they will find a way of dealing with it. Family, as a wise man, should say, Hey! pretty good outcome you guys i like it we figured it out diplomatically we have a good reputation with the disciples of anu so that probably helps a little bit now do i want to be manufacturing anything you guys i think the answer to that is is most certainly yes and i think what we probably want to do is a shotgun now we have a shotgun so let's actually let's go really quickly to our let's make sure we're all up on all our ammo i don't know what this guy needs what does he need nothing who needs stuff? I don't know why I need stuff. Do I need stuff? It says I, my guys need stuff. Oh, this guy has level up. Oh, no. He doesn't need another one of those. There we go. I guess. Uh, do, 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 do. You're good. Let's go to training. Hell yeah. Overwatch cost is reduced by one action point. Actually, that's that's like amazing. The action point cost of the next shot with a proficient weapon is reduced by one. And the accuracy... Wow, these are really powerful. Yes and yes. Like, super good. Willpower up, speed up, strength up. I think that's really, really good. We want our guys to be pretty durable. So I think continuing to do this is really good. 
A uh, new class to train. Yes. And you know what? It would be really nice. Uh, do I want to do that? Bonus stealth and minus... Let's just wait on the second class. You're still green. Yeah, we do not have enough skill points. Oh. You do. That's 50. You know what? We're going to wait on that. Everything else looks good. But, okay, but let's go back to personnel really quickly because somebody ha does have shotgun proficiency. And it is you. And I'm just, the reason I say that is because... We totally recovered a shotgun. Which you can totally use. Now, damage 40, 10, 6. 40, 10, 6. If I go to manufacturing, is that the exact same stats? 48, 8. So it's better range, less burst. Very interesting. You know what, though? I still think it probably makes sense to manufacture one. Although, is it really worth the materials when we already have one? Probably not. Phoenix Air Vehicle. Yeah, I don't think we need another one of these. I don't know why. What would be the point of building another one? To have different crews at different bases? I don't know. Maybe you can have multiple crews. I have no idea, you guys. So this is obviously good for the bonus effects, but I wonder if I want to do anything in New Jericho Class Assault Rifle. New Jericho Goss Assault Rifle. That is very nice. Why don't we move that up? And we'll move that up as well. And then... Damage inflicted on missed sentinels is increased by 15%. Is that good? Do they mean decreased? What is this? Disciples of Andrew Shotgun. Oh, this is the reverse engineering of the one we have. It would be cool to be able to make that. But we already have a shotgun we can make. And how much better is that one? I say probably not much. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to be cool with that. This is under repair. This is under repair. Let's repair the living quarters. Because repairing the living quarters will allow us to heal at this base. Which I'm pretty sure that's what the living quarters does. So we're going to be cool with that. And I do think it's time, ladies and gentlemen. I do think it's time to make our way over to this mission. Uh, you know what? No, it's not. Uh, we need to go back and we need to heal up. We are not ready to take on that mission yet. So... Yeah, notice how our guys are not getting any better, you guys. It's because the living quarters is not repaired yet. So I almost think it's probably worth just hanging out for a second here and repairing that living quarters. Vehicle bay, bay repair complete. Because we need to be, we need to be like good to go. Elite training constructed in, okay. In Haven, Syndergren, okay. We research complete. Okay, excellent. Is there anything, seriously though, is there anything we should be manufacturing right now? Like... I feel like it's wasted time if we're not. But at the same time, I don't want to just spend resources to spend resources. That seems insane. All right. Well, I feel like we're okay. Living quarters is almost done. Six hours. Okay. Not the end of the world. And there it is. So we just got that. We got 150 bonus materials. Now our guys should start healing here. Uh, why have they not? Oh, do we need a medical bay, you guys? Oh, gosh. God darn it. Uh. Now I feel really stupid. Living quarters. All sorts of the base even will recover stamina points for each hour at the... So they get stamina points, but they won't get... They won't heal. Yeah. This is recover hit points. This is what we want. We want that. Three days. Okay, well, that sucks. I almost think that it makes sense to even go check out, like, another one of these things. Like, we're doing okay on health. 
Not terribly. One of our snipers is a little bit hurt, but let's go check this out while we wait. So Michael Bay is going to take a while. Uh, our operatives have set down beside a ruined r highway. There are hundreds of burned out cars. Okay, I see we searched the area. Hey, there it is. Materials and food. So we're doing really well on materials and stuff like that. Um, I just feel like it doesn't make sense to go try to recruit somebody else. Maybe we go back over here and see if we can do some trade. Uh, do we need food? No. Do we need some of that? Maybe. I don't know. I almost do feel like it'd be make, it makes sense to go try to recruit somebody. Let's see who they've got. We've got some time before the medical bay is complete. Maybe we can go back and heal over here. Um, let's go ahead and check it out what they got. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Oh. Well, too late. That sucks. There's another just uh, general purpose uh, assault person, but I say we take her. There she is. No gun. Let's go ahead and check out her equipment see if we've got anything for her. Oh, she can totally use this. Oh, no way. Shotguns. Yeah, she's got proficiency in shotguns. Well, guys, I think we just got our first assault trooper. I love it. That's actually awesome. That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So, let's go to her. Yup. Uh, definitely need to... Give her additional ammo. Excellent. Wow, 50 ammo capacity? My goodness. I wonder how much it expends during each turn. Burst is 10. I wonder if that means ammo use. I don't know. Now, I will say, the armor of these guys is pretty stinking weak. Well, that's 20. Well, that's 20. 22, 0. 21, 0. Weight is 3. Interesting. So her armor is just straight up better? 18, 20. This gives her better perception, though. What about leg armor? 18, 3, 21. I almost feel like I want to have. I want her to have this. A little more armor. Um, let's go to equipment. Really, she can't carry any like med kits or anything like that. We don't have any. Not proficient. Okay, that's okay. I don't need her to be proficient in that. I was hoping we had another uh, med kit sitting around. Anybody have a med kit just in their inventory? Okay, let's take that out. You got one too. That's okay. You you keep yours with you. But we want to give her one, and possibly even a grenade. Excellent. Well, grenades. Anybody got an extra grenade? You do. But you 100% probably don't need your uh, sniper. Shotgun lady, you've got yourself a grenade. Excellent. So, extra ammo. Good to go. What's the range on this thing? Effective range 6? What's the pistol's effective range? 18. You're not proficient, though, in pistols, so that's not ideal. Uh, yeah, dash. That's really solid. I need to start getting better at using their, their like, skills like that, too. Anyway, welcome to the crew. You're the shotgun specialist. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Got two relatively rookie individuals, but that's not the end of the world. I almost feel like we should go back to our base just to heal everybody up. What's going on here? They're just moving guys around? I don't know what's going on there. It's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Like I said, we've got a medical bay. Eventually, we will have one over there as well. But we want to make sure we're want to make sure we're all healed up, you guys, for this campaign mission. I definitely think that's that's mission critical right now. So, new Zariko continues to expand its military capabilities. This new class of soldiers, the technician, robotic this time arms, a new class cranial of input hubs. It's impre all our very person not exactly opposed to this development. We wonder is new Zariko going to invest then, in anything other than war? Yes. Okay, so the Sidnerian do kind of not peace. like it. They did and not like that Nether. one bit, you guys. So, I say now, we're almost healed. Research complete. We just got shock. Oh, we got Goss rifles. Very cool. Okay. 
We are now complete. Let's go and check out those Gauss rifles. So, a norm that's a shotgun. A normal rifle, this one does 30 damage. The Gauss rifles do more damage, significantly more damage. 40, they do 10 more damage each. I definitely think it's worth maybe manufacturing a couple. Yes, because we have two people with assault rifles. And I think that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, and if we go back to that, uh, let's go to equipment. Let's just make sure we have extra ammo capacity for them. The Bulldog magazines. Get a couple. Okay. Uh, for some reason, we had five. So that was actually really stupid waste of resources. Good job. Good job, Cornbread. Excellent, excellent work, buddy. Um, let's move. First campaign. I think this is the first like uh, campaign mission besides the ones that we started with, you guys, that we're going to do. It's pretty cool. Okay, mission briefing, guys. Our operatives have discovered the cryogenics laboratory Symes mentioned in his notes. It appears to have been a government facility, possibly a black site of some kind. As far as we can tell, Symes came here to examine samples collected in the 60s. Unfortunately, the facility has been compromised, and now it functions, all right, as a base for a group of raiders. So we're going to be killing uh, people, it looks like, you guys. That is fine with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm totally cool killing people. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's right. We were saving our, our stuff for that guy. All right, guys. Full squad. I love it. Finally got a full squad. We got a shotgun guy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's go. Let's go. The only thing this doesn't have is it doesn't have, like, the scenes where the thing lands and all the troops, like, walk out of it, right? The, the classic XCOM. Probably just didn't make a lot of sense for the development team. Like, I have all the things to prioritize. A little stuff like that. Probably stupid. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really get started to... I'm really excited to get started with this, but we are going to have to wait till next time because I do have to put a cut in this video. Thank you so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. I am really enjoying this, you guys. Like... The game lacks polish, and I was certainly slightly discouraged by that when I started playing, but I'm finding myself really enjoying, especially the combat. It's just really cool. So if you guys are too, and you're enjoying the content, a like, a comment, and subscribe is all the support I ever need, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.